Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cardano Community Podcast. Today, we have Daniel Friedman. Daniel, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Today, we just want to discuss with you a few, uh, a few things. You know, first, we'd, we'd like to get to know you a little bit better. You know, who's Daniel? Secondly, we'd like to, you know, go through all of the MOUs that we've seen you been part of. And thirdly, we'd like to speak about, you know, what does these MOUs, what, what, what are they? You know, what can we expect looking towards the future? So uh, let's kick it off. Who is Daniel? Let's do it. Well, uh, let's see. Who's Daniel? I'm Daniel. Um, and uh, as you said, I, I uh, handle uh, business development at Input Output. Um, well, who's Daniel? Daniel is uh, a uh, early 40s type of guy, uh, born in the Ukraine, raised in the United States, and uh, now lives in Japan. Um, that's another story for another time when we have more time. Um, and um, I've been at IOHK for about three years now, a little over three years. Uh, I was part of the original team. Uh, uh, you know, the first 20, the first 15, actually, I think. Um, I've been uh, doing, I mean, I've, uh, you know, wore a lot of hats at IOHK, uh, but uh, the one that I enjoy wearing the most is business development, um, simply because it's, um, it's what I like to do. I like to be hands-on. I like to talk to people. I like to make things happen. I like to cultivate relationships and, uh, you know, just... Uh, just do business in, the, in its most direct sense, uh, sense of the word. To do business, to do good business, to uh, create revenue streams, to create opportunities, and to take advantage of opportunities. Uh, well, um, like I said, I can go on and on and on. Um, recently, what, uh, what, uh, who is Dan Friedman? Recently, Dan Friedman is somebody who, I, 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 I know I keep talking to myself in, about myself in the third person, um, it's kind of like the dude from the Big Lebowski. Um, so forgive me for that. Okay. Um, yeah, recently, uh, well, I've just been really working hard, uh, putting, uh, putting together opportunities uh, for uh, us, for uh, input-output, uh, for the Cardano ecosystem, um, and uh, really acting on all these different opportunities that we have, um, well, in the regions that I work in, which is mostly uh, Eastern Europe and uh, Asia. And uh, one of the reasons why I work so well in Eastern Europe is because I am originally from Eastern Europe. And uh, I speak the language of, well, I speak Russian fluently. That's my native language. And uh, so I understand uh, the culture. I understand the way the business is done over there. So um, I can relate to people a lot easier. I can understand what they're looking for without having it explained to me too much. Um, and just in general, you know, it's, uh, it's a good place to work in. There's a lot of developing economies over there. There's a lot of opportunities over there for, uh, for what we do, for uh, the blockchain revolution, as they call it. Yes, exactly. Wow. It sounds like a handful, I must say. I mean, like, um, wh what do you do to relax? Uh, sleep. Um, you know, uh, as they say, you know, uh, what, what, what is that saying? Uh, we'll rest when we're dead. Uh -huh. um, oh, uh, you know, uh, actually, I, I, I do, you know, I do many things. Um, I just like, uh, you know, spending time with my wife, going somewhere, uh, going on a little trip, uh, spending time with my pets. Um, I build miniatures. Um, so there's, uh, you know, many things. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a plethora of things. Uh, I'm a big Trekkie and I'm a big sci-fi fan. So uh, I'd love to, you know, turn on some TNG, watch some, some episodes that I've seen about a million times over and over again. Yes. So it's it in a nutshell. Sounds good, I must say. Wow. Um, let's, let's kick off, right, on the, um, on, on the question about the, um, those MOUs, because I remember you guys started with the, correct me if I'm wrong, right? in Barbados or the Bahamas? So, yes, there was, um, there was activity in Barbados. Um, I was not part of that particular uh, activity, but we did do a Haskell course in Barbados. That was last year, I believe. Uh, and we actually ended up hiring everybody from that Haskell course, which is uh, what we regularly do. 
Um, we set up a Haskell course. Uh, we bring the opportunity to that particular region, particular jurisdiction for those people to uh, acquire this skill, which is a really great skill to have. And then a lot of times we'll just go in the, well, basically hire the people from the Haskell course. Wow. So it's, uh, it's a win-win situation for us, I believe. Correct. What, what are these people, let's say, hired to do? What kind of positions are these people uh, given? Um, they are developers. Uh, so uh, different levels of development. We're never, you know, always growing. We're always looking for uh, new talent for uh, people that are familiar with the way we do things and what better way of finding those people than by training people, by training those people for and things that we find necessary for our business. Wow, great. And I remember, correct me if I'm wrong, right, but you guys went from, uh, from Barbados to, um, to, to Greece. Yes. Um, so in Greece, um, we had uh, several things. Well, first of all, we have several Greeks working in the company. Um, some, some wonderful people in, uh, in our accounting and processing department are Greek. Um, and uh, our uh, chief scientist, Agalos, he's also Greek. Uh, we did a, um, a small project over there with the University of Athens. And, um, you know, just in general, um, you know, we have a lot of um, ins and outs in Greece that, that we act on. Um, but since then, we have expanded our horizons. Uh, the, the Greek project started, uh, I believe, about a year and a half ago. That's when we actually did a small project over there. And uh, after that, it's just been, uh, you know, uh, we have an office over there. Uh, some wonderful people that in our company are Greek. And, uh, yeah, we're just really happy that, uh, well, I'm happy that we're in Greece because I love Greece, just personally. Yes. And uh, it's, it's good for the company. It's a lot of talent over there. There is. I know. I actually work with uh, with a guy who is uh, who's Greek as well. Very talented guy, you know, academic driven and um, very smart as well. Uh, that I must say. Actually, multiple Greek, uh, Greek guys. Um, what about the, because uh, correct me if I'm wrong, from Greek, Greece, you guys went to Ethiopia. Yes. How did that go? Well, um, Ethiopia is uh, handled by a very talented young man. God, listen to me saying young man to somebody in his late 20s. Oy vey. Um, John O'Connor, and uh, he's the director of African operations. He actually lives in Ethiopia uh, right now, and uh, we're uh, you know, scaling up operations in Ethiopia. Um, we have, uh, we have several, uh, different, really interesting, uh, work streams over there right now. One in particular is the, um, uh, the utility currency that we're creating for, uh, the city of Ath Addis Ababa. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, for, um, more information on that, I would say, uh, John would be a good person to talk to. Um, I don't know if you're planning to have him on the show. I would really highly recommend it. He's, uh, very smart guy, very on it. He can give you a lot of really good, you know, ins and outs and information about what's going on in that region. Yes, definitely. It's actually someone that I was thinking of reaching out to uh, one of these days, definitely, because, uh, yeah, it's like, you know, it's very difficult for me to find someone, you know, from the continent to really speak to about, you know, in-depth, let's say, uh, situations of things that are happening there. So, and yeah, John would definitely be your man. John would be your man, and uh, like I said, he's a he's a, a very talented, very uh, intelligent guy. Uh, he'll 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 definitely give you a really good rundown of everything, and uh, he's a very good interview. Yes, great, thank you. Um, what about what about the ladies? Because it, it was an all girls co course or ladies co course, and did, what what came what became of those ladies eventually? Well, uh, like I was saying before, uh, we uh, are actually uh, hiring those ladies. Um, and most of the, uh, some of them uh, got actually hired by another company, a very good company. Um, but we did hire uh, several of those ladies and uh, really looking forward to working with them. Well, In fact, uh, the... Um, Unfortunately, it, it didn't happen uh, because of short notice, but uh, I was actually trying to bring one of the ladies out for the, um, the workshop that we did in Israel recently. 
to to do the Haskell workshop to yes. uh, do the Haskell and then the Mar uh, Marlo and Plutus workshop that we that we do the uh, the hackathons, and I believe that we're going to be asking these ladies to come out more and more to these things and uh, to be, really be able to uh, uh, you know kind of pick up and 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 really expand these things for us because. Uh, Right now, the guys that are doing it, um, you know, they can only be in so, so many places at, at once. Exactly, exactly. That's actually beautiful. You know what I mean? Like you said, you know, we, you train them, but it's not only it's a training them for the purpose of training them, but you also, you know, like go the extra mile, do the extra effort to make sure that these ladies are employed, you know, and are um, useful to, 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 to the whole ecosystem. That's something. Yeah, that's... well, it, it, it really has to be... Um, I mean, I, I look at it this way. Um, yes, it is adding to the ecosystem, and it's also a win-win situation because it's, all, it's also adding to the business. So it is good to add to the ecosystem, but it is good to uh, be generous and good to just do a good deed. But when you can combine that good deed with something that is, uh, that is uh, economically viable for a business, I think that's actually even a bigger win. Wow. Well, that's vision. That's what I call vision. Definitely, definitely, and that's uh, that's what Charles is all about. I mean, this this man is truly a visionary. I'm really, you know, it's uh, it's 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 really humbling to work with somebody like that. Uh, again, you know, speaking of an old man, I mean, Charles is younger than me, but God, he just has so much, so so much more in his head than you know. I can I can put another head on top of my head. I won't be able to hold the all the information and all the all the vision, all the. Um, and all the knowledge that he has, you know, uh, you run something by him and you think that you have every all these angles figured out. And he'll just say, OK, so what about this and this and this and that this, this and this and this is going to be brilliant. Yet you're wait a second. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? I mean, it's, it's just so obvious, you know, yeah. but it's not. It is. It isn't. You know, it's just it's 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 very amazing to work with somebody like that. Well, I, I'd love to, you know, have an interview with him one of these days. I'm actually working on that, but that's something we hope to, you know, let's say make happen sometime this year. I know he's very busy, but yeah, we're looking forward to that. Definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Daniel, now you guys went to Mongolia and from Mong Mongolia, you went to Georgia, right? Um, right. We've been seeing, you know, let's say MOUs from MOUs. You're going from, you know, let's say agreements to agreements, right? And um, uh, what are the purpose of all of these memorandum of understandings? What are you guys hoping to achieve? Well, um, what is a memorandum of understanding? Let's think about that. Well, it's basically an intent, a letter of intent, in a way, to uh, pursue uh, different uh, venues and opportunities in uh, particular sectors. Um, Mongolia is uh, there's a lot of opportunities over there. We uh, we signed a, a two MOUs with really good uh, good organizations over there. We're also pursuing uh, uh, several different venues, uh, an air quality project over there, uh, also other blockchain solutions. But again, I don't want to keep saying this that okay, well that's some other guy, uh, but it kind of is. Uh, Mongolia was actually. Um, it's, it, there's a lot of opportunity there, but my, I guess my, uh, my baby is Georgia. Uh, Georgia is uh, something that I've been working on with our partners on the ground over there for about a year now. And what people don't realize is, um, you know, you, you, see, you see announcements from the company, you see an MOU, you see a partnership form, but some people might not realize how much work goes in behind the scenes. Um, for example, this, uh, particular, uh, the, the three MOUs we signed in Georgia. So the one with the ministry of education, uh, the, and then two of them, the major universities, the, the biggest universities in Georgia, uh, for the academic credentials verification, uh, project that we're doing right now, um, that we actually just started right now. In fact, I just came from, uh, came back from Georgia yesterday. Uh, I was there for uh, about two days. Uh, we met with a uh, their a data protection agency, so making sure that we are in compliance with personal data protection. And in fact, it was a great meeting because apparently we even exceeded 
what they expected. They were very happy with, with, with what they've heard and about the way we do things, about how we protect personal data, about the, the security steps that we take, about the auditing that we do on the systems and how we, how we store the information and such. So I was really happy to hear of that. Wow. Getting That's back to... Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I just wanted to say that's a great compliment. You know, to, to, to say that you know, hey, it, it was beyond what they expected. Yeah, yeah, it was. I was very happy to hear that uh, because we take it very seriously. Um, I, I, I believe that. Uh, I mean, just personally, I don't want my information floating around somewhere out there. And uh, when somebody takes, uh, you know, takes the time to address privacy, um, I believe that uh, that. That, that particular business is in a way looking out for me and that basically, yes. basically puts more, uh, more, more my faith in their system. Um, getting back to what I was saying, um, this, these particular MOUs, like I said, you, you, see, uh, you see these nice news articles that we have out there, you see interviews, you see uh, you know, this buzz and you just think about it. You know, some people say, oh, wow, this kind of came out of left field. It came out of nowhere. It doesn't. Um, we're on the ground, we are working, you know, late nights. I mean, I had to, uh, for about a month and a half before that whole trip that uh, we took with Charles, um, I believe I pulled at least uh, five or six all nighters. Wow. And, uh, yeah, I'm talking about, uh, you know, and uh, old dayers actually, uh, you know, because they start work at around 9 a.m., 8 a.m., sometimes earlier. That day I started at 8 a.m. And uh, I was working continuously until about five or six a.m. the next day. Oh, wow! Yeah, and this is uh, this is just lining things up. This is uh, connecting with people, planning, um, getting documents back and forth, uh, making sure that everybody's on the same page. It's what we're talking about. It's uh, it's uh, relationship management, expectation management. And, uh, you know, making sure that you have your, all your I's dotted and T's crossed because you don't want to screw up on something like this, especially when you're dealing with, a, with, with something on that level. You know, when you're talking, when you're going to meet the prime minister, you don't want to go in there and kind of say, well, yeah, um, I think I know what I'm doing, Mr. <laughs> prime Minister. Uh, don't worry about it. We will try not to break things. You know, you can't do that. No, and, correct. Uh, yeah, so it's it's a lot of work that goes in the, that goes into this, and uh, is, I'm just really, but it's it's all worth it in the end uh, because you see this outcome, you see you know these uh, you know these big uh, media uh, roundtables and uh, signing ceremonies and uh, you know these things these the, this work that starts you know these people connected to all of this to, to all of this and you think about it it's not that you're patting yourself on the back by saying yeah I did this. Yeah. But it just feels good. Uh, you, you think that you did good. You're, you're, you, you progress something in the ecosystem. You've created opportunities for people. Yes, correct. And I, that, I enjoy that. There's way too much stuff to do. Uh, way too many things that, uh, that, uh, that need to be put into motion uh, to make sure that uh, the ecosystem is growing and, and that opportunities are, 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 are being taken advantage of and uh, we're just moving ahead. Yes. Daniel, what, are, what do you expect the outcome of all of these MOUs, let's say, to mean for, um, for Cardano? I mean, what can we expect? Well, um, so what we are doing is uh, not just expanding the Cardano ecosystem, but we're expanding the IOHK ecosystem, which Cardano is a part of. And um, I believe that uh, these MOUs and the work that's being done uh, in these projects that we're, we're putting forth uh, will just bring uh, more real-world use cases for Cardano. Um, it'll utilize Cardano in a way that we'd like it to be utilized. Um, I mean, the, the goal here is, is mass adoption. And yes, the community is out there doing all they can to promote mass adoption of Cardano. But so are we. So are we. That's what we're here for. We're here to make sure that this product, we're not just here to make this and put it out there and, okay, you guys play with it. No, no, no. We made it. We have the, uh, the community. The, the community is accelerating it and propelling it, and we're working within the ecosystem to boost the ecosystem, to make the ecosystem flourish. That is what we're here for. Wow. Um, I remember I spoke yesterday to um, 
to Elapan. I'm not sure if you, you've met him. Elapan, that's the CEO of, the, of Emergo India. And I told him, you know, it's, I told him, you know, it seems like um, Emergo, Cardano Foundation and IOHK, IOHK all, all parties seems to really have all of this well thought it out. You know, it's just not just doing things. You, know, you guys really have a vision. You know what I mean? And, you're, and it's well thought it out and you're playing it out correctly and precisely. That's what I see here. Yeah, um, there is definitely um, there's definitely a plan. I mean, we're, we're not really just doing things randomly, even though it might seem like that sometimes because not everybody might have all the information. I mean, there's some things that uh, we're, we're doing that are very exciting, but unfortunately, I cannot disclose these things. Um, there, you know, there are parts maybe of some things that you've heard that are not, you know, privy to the public information that are also very exciting. But again, it's all a well thought out plan. Uh, we don't do things but a see our pants. Um, and, uh, I mean, that's really the way to do it. Um, you know. Uh, my father, he uh, he worked in IT for 40 years, and uh, one of his, um, well, he worked with uh, an executive. He was an executive, and he worked with another executive uh, for for many years. And uh, this guy was a was a very seasoned executive. Uh, he wore he was um, an executive with McGraw Hill uh, at the National Education Association in, in Washington D.C. And uh, he said one of the things that he always told him, he said, Michael. I can give you, I can preview you to a secret, uh, a secret that all, ex or pretty much all executives just adhere to. We hate surprises. No surprises for us. Yeah. And that, I mean, if you think about that, that's really a, 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 a brilliant thing, you know, to think about it, you know, not just exec, why don't executives like surprises? Because the surprise means that they didn't have all the information, that these things were not planned out, communicated correctly, transparent enough, whatever the case is. Exactly. So there are no surprises. These things, even though it might seem like a surprise for somebody who doesn't have all the information, these are not surprises. These are plans that are put yeah. into motion. Uh, that's what I like because I remember you saying, you know, hey, those MOUs with Georgia, you, you've been working on this for a long while. You know what I mean? Building those relationships, etc. So for the community it might seem you know to come as a, as a surprise but indeed behind the scenes you know the team iohk mergo and, and, and the Kanana foundation have been working for a long time to get to that stage so yes i yeah. do understand that yes yeah it started i mean it all started with a phone call uh just well actually it all started with a random email that was almost got lost in the general mailbox you know and uh one of these things where I just comb through it and I look, read all these emails and say, hey, that looks interesting, you know, and uh, then I had a phone call and one thing led to another and uh, that's what it became. Um, and uh, we have many things that are like that, you know, just opportunities that are hiding sometimes in plain sight, sometimes somewhere uh, in your inbox, sometimes, yeah. uh, you know, from you asking about it from somebody, sometimes it's just a matter of um, you know being brave enough. You think, okay, this makes sense. Let me talk to somebody about that. Yes, exactly. That's, a, that's how it happens. Nice, nice. Hey, Daniel, um, I'm through. Let's say my question is: Is there anything that you would like? Maybe a question that I've not asked, but you'd like something that you'd like to to you add or communicate to the community. Is there anything? Um. Well, I would just like to uh, thank the community for the support that you're providing for us. Um, I know, um, you know, there are many things, uh, many um, different, de uh, different uh, parts uh, of the community, uh, of, of the uh, ecosystem building that are going to place right now. Um, and uh, thank you for your patience with some of these things. And just thank you for your involvement. We have a really, really good and positive community. We have a very loyal community. And um, I do believe that it is uh, crucial. It's crucial for the types of ecosystems that we're building. Um, this is not, uh, you know, nothing is done behind a, a dark curtain anymore. You know, this, this is a democratic process. It is all about transparency. It's all about listening to uh, what the people want. 
And uh, I believe that uh, we have some really good people, really good people in the community. And I'm, I'm very thankful for that. And it's a pleasure and it's an honor to, uh, to be able to bring something to these people to, uh, you know, for them to take advantage of, you know, these opportunities that I speak of, these uh, uh, deals, these uh, things that we're, that we're working on constantly. So thank you. Thank you, everybody, for, uh, well, for being great. And uh, hopefully we can uh, meet and exceed your expectations. Amen to that, man. Hey, Daniel, thank you very much, you know, for joining us and giving us a little bit insight, you know, about the things that you've been doing, who you are, of course, and what we can expect. So um, I really want to thank you for your time. And yeah, you know, maybe during the, let's say towards the end of the year, there will be much more progress, of course, you know, in the network and development. So I'd love to mm -hmm. have you on again, just to speak about those developments, you know, at the point that we are at that point. Most definitely. And um, I'd love to give you more uh, details on, uh, you know, in Georgia and Israel and all the other things that I'm working on uh, personally. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for having me on your show. Really enjoy it. I really enjoy seeing uh, seeing your show. I, I watched several already. And um, as they say, Godspeed. And um, I, I look forward to uh, being back on the show again with something new, with something that will some more, some more surprises that are not really surprises. Uh, let's say with the pace that you're going, I'm pretty sure that you'll deliver that promise. Yes. Well, thank you. I, I am, you know, I, I'm, I'm doing my best. Uh, my, my wife not, might, be not, might not be too happy about the hours that I'm keeping, but she understands. Likewise. I <laughs> <laughs> understand that. Hey, Daniel, take care. Take care. Thank you. Okay. Have a good one. <laughs>